Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how to activate your new iPhone 6. There's a couple ways to do this. The first one is to, well, let's just get started here. We'll jump right in. Uh, I have two phones. I'll show you both ways and we'll go from there. So first it's going to ask you to choose a Wi-Fi network. <clears throat> I'll go ahead, choose my Wi-Fi network, enter my password. Once I'm done there, it will ask me if I want to enable my location services or disable my location services. It's up to you, really. I'll do one of each on each phone. So I'll go ahead and just hit disable location services. It will ask me if I'm sure. I'll tap OK. Now, here's where we can set it up. We can set it up as a new iPhone. If this is your first iPhone, that's what you want to do. Or we can restore it from iCloud. Or we can restore it from iTunes. If you want to restore it from iTunes, you'll need to have your computer with you. Um, the easiest way probably to do this is from iCloud because you don't need a computer and you can do it right there laying on your couch. So we'll do restore from iCloud this time. And it'll ask me to sign in using my Apple ID and password. So I'll go ahead and type that in real quick. And once I have that typed in, I'll just go ahead and hit next. And it will ask me to read the terms and conditions. I'm going to agree. And it will say it may take a few minutes to set up your Apple ID. And it, it doesn't really take a few minutes. It, it's actually pretty quick, especially on the iPhone 6. And now it will ask to choose a backup. So I can look at the last backups I have. I have June 7th and June 6th. So that was the last time it backed up from iCloud, which is another thing. If you don't back up your phone on iCloud and only back it up on your computer using iTunes, use iTunes to restore this, okay? But I'm just going to go with the most recent one, and I'll just go ahead and click Restoring Settings. So it's going to restore the settings here from iCloud. Now while that's working, I'm going to go ahead and show you the other way. So this one will be using iTunes, and we'll go through the same things here. It's really simple. I'm just going to choose another network. Oop, it didn't pull up. Here we go. Give it one more second here. For some reason it's not pulling up my network. There we go. Okay, so I'll go ahead and enter my password. So now once again, it's gonna say it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. All right, so now we're to the enable location services. This time I'll go ahead and enable them and we get the option again to set up as a new phone, restore from iCloud or restore from iTunes backup. This time I'm gonna hit restore from iTunes backup. And now it's going to ask me to connect to iTunes. And once it's connected to iTunes, I'll wait for it to pop up up here. And let's see what this one's doing. Update complete. I'll just hit continue. And then it's asking me for the password. Once again, I'll go ahead and hit next. And here, if we jump back to the iTunes activation, we can see right down here, we can set up as a new iPhone or we can restore from this backup. And I will select the backup. I only have one backed up on this. So obviously I'll choose that and I'll just hit continue. And you can see it's basically, it's restoring it from right there. Now for the iCloud way, we'll just go ahead. It's asking us for uh, iMessage and FaceTime, all the contacts, I'll just go ahead and hit next. Icl iCloud Drive, you don't want to update to iCloud Drive unless you have OS X uh, Mavericks on your, on your Mac. So right now I don't have Mavericks, so I'm going to say not now. And it will say, are you sure? And I am sure. And find my iPhone, I definitely want to use find my iPhone. And then it will ask me to set up Touch ID. Touch ID is where you tap your thumb, thumb on here. Now this one's not going to be my phone, so I'm actually going to set up Touch ID later. And I'll hit continue. And create a password. I'm just going to create a simple password here. And it's loading. And I'm going to set up the iCloud keychain later. And I will use Siri. Now there's two different ways you can view it. You can view your phone as a standard or a zoomed. I prefer the zoomed, so I'll choose zoomed on this one. 
and hit next and now I'll do unzoomed on this one and it says welcome to iPhone get started and you can see it says restoring apps and media your settings have been restored connect to power to save battery while apps and media are downloading so I'll hit OK and I should be able to click here and contacts should start appearing as they already have and that's the iCloud version that's it you're done now let's say you wanted some apps that maybe didn't show up for whatever reason or maybe you just didn't have them installed or backed up on your last phone you can go into the App Store and it's asking me to set up family sharing which is pretty neat it allows you to share your apps I'm gonna not do that right now but I'm gonna go into updates and once I'm in updates I can see all the apps I have purchased here's all the apps and I can just simply download them from the cloud so if you're missing those that's where they're at and that's that now back to the iTunes restore process you say it says restore in progress it says about five seconds left and we should be done with this one and it turned off and back on the settings in your iPhone you see are on the computer have been restored please leave your phone connected it will appear back in the box up here once it's connected so there it is it's turning back on As you can see, this one here in the background is downloading the apps. You can see the status bar there on the app. And then it's asking me about an update to the carrier settings. And I can download that now, but I'm going to choose to wait this time. But I would suggest downloading that if I were you. So we'll go ahead and you can see the status bar. It's almost done. couple vibrations there asking me about the iMessage and FaceTime where I want to be contacted at and iCloud Drive once again if you don't have Mavericks do not install this so I'll say not now and continue and then it'll ask me to set up Touch ID and I'll go ahead and set up Touch ID this time and it will ask me to place my thumbprint on here and just kind of move it around as I'm tapping it on the touch ID and it'll ask me to adjust my grip and continue ask me for a simple password I'll go ahead and just type another simple password here and this time we'll go to the standard size zoom and hit next and boom we're done get started now just so you can see real quick the difference between the zooms I'll just go ahead and show you much bigger much smaller I like the bigger one but that's how you set up and activate your new iPhone thanks for watching